Thank you for choosing Synergy SE Series Single Phase On-Grid PV Inverter. Synergy SE Series Inverter is easy to install. It is the smallest in size and the lightest in weight among the same models in the industry and offers excellent performance. In this video, we will provide a brief introduction to Synergy Inverter installation, commissioning, and basic troubleshooting. Have the following tools available prior to beginning installation. Open the packaging with the utility knife and take out the inverter and its accessories. Follow the placing requirements to install the inverter in a proper location that has shelter to avoid direct exposure to sun, rain, and snow, and thereby extend the product's service life. Place the rear panel on the appropriate wall location and mark the drilling holes with a 2B pencil. Drill the holes using the electric drill. Knock the expansion tubes flush into the holes using the hammer. Tighten the rear panel onto the wall using the screws. Mount the inverter on the rear panel and tighten the screws at both sides. Ensure that the DC switch is set to off. Remove an appropriate length of the insulation layer from the yellow-green earth wire using the wire strippers. Crimp the earth wire into the OT terminal using the crimping pliers. Remove the cross screw on the inverter with a Phillips head screwdriver. Route the screw through the OT terminal and tighten it in place with the Phillips screwdriver. Remove an appropriate length of the jacket and insulation layer from the AC output cable wires using the wire stripper. Remove the tail part of the AC output terminal head and insert wires L, N, and G into the receptors on the part accordingly. Make sure that each is tightened firmly. Then, connect the tail part back into the AC output terminal head. Remove an appropriate length of the insulation layer from the wires of the DC input power cable using a wire stripper. Insert the exposed areas of the DC input cable wires into the metal terminals of the positive and negative connectors respectively and crimp them using the crimping pliers. Measure the current with a multimeter to ensure that the current of all DC terminals is within the normal range. Insert the crimped positive and negative power cables into the corresponding positive and negative connectors. Tighten the waterproof nuts using the tightening tool and finally connect the AC output power cable and the positive and negative DC input connectors with the corresponding terminals on the inverter. Manually attach the Bluetooth antenna. Remove the metal communications plate using the Phillips head screwdriver. Insert the GPRS module into the interface on the inverter and tighten the cover with a torque of 8 kgf and manually tighten the antenna. Turn the DC power switch so that the inverter is powered on and the LED display screen activates. Open Set Touch app and choose Local Data, Scan New Device, and select Sebel to Connect Device. View real time meters and status.
click Maintenance button to view maintenance information. Click Settings button to view all settings. Set up your Wi-Fi name and password. Click Modbus item for Modbus address setup. Click Binding the Cloud Account to bind the inverter to your account. Click Standard Code to view all standard codes for different countries. Set up reconnected time. Set up voltage loss level. Log in to the Set Touch Cloud app with your account. View Inverter Power Generation Chart with Day, Month, Year Format. View Inverter Parameters View Inverter Log Please contact us if you have any questions about your Synergy PV inverter.